It's back to school season around the country, which makes it a good time to look at a trend underway in many school districts. Many of them have switched from a five day week to four days, particularly in western states. In Colorado, for example, more than half of all districts now follow a four day week. In New Mexico, around 40 percent. But officials in New Mexico have placed a moratorium on the practice because of their concerns about the impact. Special correspondent Kavita Cardoza, with our partner Education Week, visited New Mexico to see a school district that just completed its first year of the change for our weekly segment, Making the Grade. The life cycle of a chicken, right? Alexis Perilla and Michael Lozano's reactions to the shortened week couldn't be more different. When I heard that the school was moving from five to four, I was like, yes! <laughs> I kind of don't like it a little bit because I'm, I just really want to learn about things. <laughs> a year ago, Cobra Consolidated School District moved to a four-day week to save money. Now on Fridays, schools are closed. Overall, students spend 22 fewer days in class, even though they have longer days and shortened breaks. Superintendent Robert Mendoza says 90% of parents agreed with the change. Overall, it's, it's been real positive. But Howie Morales, a former teacher turned state senator, has serious concerns about a four-day week. What are the positives of going to four-day school week? What are the negatives? And I want every single opportunity for my children and other children to have to learn. Georgia Hayworth is a researcher with the University of Washington Bothell. She says while most districts shorten school weeks to save money, they don't save much. There's very little savings in the four-day school week. It might be 2% of the district budget. Cobra School saved $71,000 the first year, far less than the $160,000 they projected. But Mendoza says there are other advantages. It's such a geographically large school district, it saves students time. They ride a long time in the buses, an hour and a half to come and an hour and a half to go back home. So, you know, that's three hours a day. Right. What happens after that fertilization takes place? Sixth grade teacher Laura Brown says a big reason she moved to Cobra schools, the four day week. I feel that extra day gave me that possible one day off to rest and recover as well, but it also, it made my classroom and my teaching that much better because my lesson plans were better, more in depth. It also meant she could start a district-wide drama club on Fridays. Hours and hours and hours went in on our days off to bring those kiddos in. It was their day off too. Not once did we have one kid missing. New Mexico has a teaching shortage. Mendoza says that's particularly a problem in rural districts like this one, where there's usually only one educator for each grade who teaches all subjects. Right before we went to this, we had a hard time filling. We had vacancies and this year, we have none. We did, but we thought this looks so Student Brianna Martinez's week is jam-packed. I play volleyball, basketball, and softball. And in school, I'm involved in National Honor Society, student council, and I'm a class officer. But she was always stressed trying to juggle everything. Not anymore. A lot of our games are now scheduled on Friday, which is awesome for us. Shaggers, you guys are in the cage. Cage, you guys are live. Like many parents here, Coach Randy Dominguez works at the Copper Mines. As a coach, it is beneficial just being that we could bring in the girls in or the boys in on Fridays and get a little bit of extra work in. But as a father of three, it's tough to find childcare. His wife works full time as well, so they have to rely on family. There are times where we're like, we don't know exactly what we're going to do. We're a little more than halfway through the book. At first, high school teacher Kathy Ryan didn't like the idea. My first reservation had to be with how am I going to teach everything that I need to with one less day a week. Now she prefers the longer class periods and full days of professional development. Ryan also says more of her students show up. My absenteeism has diminished quite a bit. It's not just students. Teacher attendance improved as well. In fact, the district's biggest saving was from substitute teachers. But does Ryan worry about what her students do on Fridays? Well, I teach high school, so I worry about what they do every day. <laughs> there are concerns outside school. I was dumbfounded. Sonia Dixon runs the Baird Public Library. She beefed up programming on Fridays, but didn't see a big increase in attendance. Also, she found parents were dropping off their kids for hours unattended while they worked. 
so Dixon had to limit library time. She's not in favor of the four-day week. It's great for teachers. They love it, and why wouldn't they? But I see a lot of grandparents and relatives seemingly a little overwhelmed and burdened. New Mexico ranks last in the nation for child well-being according to the 2018 Kids Count data book. Sixth Street will be the, you know, this side of the table. It's Friday. Volunteers are packing food supplies for almost 300 kids to take home for the traditional two-day weekend at a neighboring school district. John Conway, who runs the program, says he worries about what kids on three-day weekends will eat. We have a large percent of the population um, that are below the poverty level. They may be hungry and not, not getting enough to eat, particularly on the weekend. Athletic events are now held on Fridays. Howie Morales, the state senator, says he's seeing a domino effect where larger urban school districts also want to change to four-day weeks. He's worked to temporarily stop the practice until he gets answers. How are the students performing? Is it really helping as far as financially and, and savings for the school district? What's going to happen in an economic development and a jobs perspective when parents may have to take Fridays off to care for their kids? We have to get a handle of it to see if it's something that we should allow all school districts to do or if this something that we need to put the brakes on. Researcher Georgia Hayworth says there's no consensus on how four-day weeks affect academics. There's been a bunch of different research, some of it rigorous, some not. And basically, we see kind of neutral impact. So students over time do about the same as they did on the five-day school week. This year, Cobre School saw an increase in reading and math test scores overall. But it's unclear what the impact is on students who struggle academically and might need more time in class. The debate is far from over. Even after a year, sixth graders Michael and Alexis haven't changed their minds. What would your reaction be if the school suddenly announced, you know what, we're going to go back to five days? I would be happy. <laughs> I mean, I love my teacher and I love my friends and I want to stay with them as long as I can. I'd be like, mm, I don't really like this. <laughs> I'd be like, uh, I don't think I want to do this no more. <laughs> For the PBS NewsHour and Education Week, I'm Kavitha Cardoza in Bayard County, New Mexico.